first get the cube and tap to go in edit mode go in face select and then select this face x and delete the face so we can make a little cup and then all the balls are going to fall in the cup so now we can go back in object mode and go in the modifiers add a subdivision surface modifier put level viewport at uh, um, 3 or you can put 4 and then we can add a solidify put a little thickness to this click event thickness and thickness put a little more like this and then what we can do too is add a little bevel or just put the solidify before the subdivision like this and then go in edit mode Control r put little loop cuts like this and Control r one at the bottom here of this shape and also you can do face select get the face here do i to inset do a little inset like this and this flat like this right click shade smooth here and now we can apply all the modifiers so you can click apply all and to get the apply all if you don't have it go in edit preferences and then go in add-on and look for interface modifier tools and check this and you are going to get the apply all so you can apply all and then we have this then we need to create the little balls that are going to fall in this shift a mesh uv spheres s is smaller like this g z here right click shade smooth so now we need to um, add physics properties to this so physics properties here physics properties on this sphere and then we need to add a rigid body now when we press play spacebar the sphere is falling like this so we need the sphere to fall and then go directly in this so this the cup we need also to put a rigid body but we don't want the cup to fall if we press play the cup and the sphere are falling so this the sphere has the rigid body type active and this we need to put rigid body type passive so it is not falling we press play it's doing like this but this is stopping here so we need to change the shape of this cup so the cup we get the cup and here collisions shape we need to change to mesh like this then we press play again and this is falling like this so this is good and also what you can do is click on the sphere and on the sphere in collision you can put a sphere so it's going to be better than just the convex hull here now that we have this what we can do to to not have problems in the um, simulation click in object properties on the sphere and then you see the scale we scale this really small but the scale is not at one so to be sure to not have problems we can apply the scale so come on a apply scale or you can do object apply scale here and this the scale is at one so it is good now we can put more and also you can change the um weight of this so here the mass you put at point one want a little less because this is uh one also so we can put more spheres so go on the side at this we can put like this and then get the sphere shift d to duplicate z to move on z axis put like this and then to repeat the duplicate action you can do shift r to repeat the last action like this to put more then let's play you have all the balls falling here 
and you have your little animation here. If you want to learn more about how to render your animation, how to put materials, how to model objects, you have my beginner's course, my free beginner's course. You have the link in the description to join this. So I will see you in another video. Bye.